go kilowatt hour. Very, very nicely packaged by the looks, which is good. It's a good sign. The Go Kilowatt Hour has landed in Australia, guys. This uh, battery was sent out to me by Go Kilowatt Hour. They reached out to me and asked whether I wanted to have a look and review this battery. Um, so, of course, I said yes. Um, so, I didn't pay for this battery. This was sent out by Go Kilowatt Hour for me to review and to show you guys. But this is getting sent out to Australia now, guys. So. Yep, no, another affordable battery on the market. This battery is a 12.8 volt, 100 amp hour or 228 watt hours life PO4 battery, which is stands for a lithium iron phosphate battery. As you can see, um, very nice looking battery. It's very light, 11.5 kilos. Um, yeah, as you can see, nice battery came very well posted as you've seen in the previous footage um, yeah very well posted um, no chance of this getting beaten up during postage uh, nice carry strap it has a little battery monitor here it does this is not the smart model but they do have a smart model they do have a Bluetooth model as well hold the button down you can see that it's 13.2 volt and 73 percent i wouldn't trust the capacity side of this um, battery monitor these are uh, just basically um, me measure the voltage so it's still good to know um, how much voltage your battery's got so yeah we'll check the shipping voltage of this battery it says 13.2 there so we'll double check it with my um, multimeter so you can, I can get this so I can show you guys and 13.18 13.19 volts on my multimeter so the the voltage meter on the battery is pretty close that was 13.2 so that's well within reason which is good this battery here has um, A grade pouch cells, lithium ion phosphate pouch cells, um, as opposed to the prismatic cells. Um, I think pouch cells are still pretty good. I know the Renergy 100 amp hour Renergy battery use pouch cells. I haven't heard of any issues with those pouch cells, so which is good. We'll get this put on charge, get this all topped up, and then we can do a capacity test. We'll do a, um, a few other tests. We'll run a bit of a load on it, hook it up to my King's 1500 watt inverter, and we'll push a load out of this as well, see how it performs. So um, let's get into it. Got the Go Kilowatt hour all connected up to my Victron blue smart charger 15 amp hour 12 volt charger as you can see we're pushing the full 15 amp hours it's in bulk charge so we'll let this charge up and then we'll get on to the capacity test and see if it passes the capacity test so stick around guys don't forget to give us a like if you're enjoying this video consider subscribing to this channel if you want to see more of this type of content um, I appreciate it guys this is the that will drop this price down to hundred and ninety nine dollars that's US dollars keep in mind hundred and ninety nine US dollars if you use my discount code which is tech box review 12v works out to be around three hundred Aussie dollars which is 
very, very good value, I reckon. Pretty well charged now. Um, as you can see, 14.4 volts, zero amps going in. I'm in absorption mode. We'll just check out the history. Right, today, the history, six hours, 30 minutes, 58 0.3 amps so yeah it's 58 amps it was pretty much shipped to us with around 42 percent state of charge 13.9 volts on the little voltage meter here and 89 percent so yeah wouldn't trust this too much but um it's not connected to a bms or to a shunt or anything it's just basically a voltage meter you can play around with some settings but I think most people that are going to buy it is just going to buy it for the battery. I've got my trusty battery tester hooked up. It's a good little test of this, but it doesn't go up to, you know, it doesn't have a great um, draw on this so it does take a little while to do these tests with this little thing so but it is a good little tester i've had this many many years yeah it's been it's been great so um looking at around 150 watts so it is going to take a few hours i'll just put it up there 150 watts i think it's maximum around 150 watts anyway so Alright guys, looks like it's passed the test, 105.25 amp hours, um, it's taken 9 hours and 10 minutes, and a total of 1316 watt hours, so it's passed the test guys, I've let it drain down right down to the BMS cuts out, so um, yep, make sure all that works as well, so it does have under discharge protection which is good and as soon as I've taken the load off the BMS has woken back up and we're at 10.19 volts which is working as it should Let's do a load test on this battery, see how well it performs, see if it can hold 100 amp hours as stated in the manual. Got it hooked up to my smart chunt here, the app's all fired up, 13.55 volt. So we'll turn this King's inverter on. And we're just running, You can see 3 watts on standby but it looks just going to be running this small little heater and then I'll run this heat gun as well just to get us up to the 100 amps. We'll try to hold that for 10 or 15 minutes. So let's get this started. Alright. The inverters fans are on already we're looking at 85 amps 89 amps 90 amps and 100 1050 watts looks like we might have to start this up start that up as well you can see just over 100 amps 1250 watts and 12.5 volts so turn this up a little bit more get up to a, a little bit over 100 amps here now 105 amps 1320 watts we'll let this go for a few minutes Not too sure why the consumed amp hours aren't going up, but just letting you know that it's not working. So, 
maybe I had to reset it, but we'll go off this timer here. So at the moment it's been going for two minutes. Almost coming up to the 10 minute mark. You can see 554. Don't know why that's not counting up, but you've got to trust me on this one. I'm not doing anything dodgy. These cables are starting to get a little bit warm now. But, yep, 12.35 volts, 104 amps, and 1291 watts at the moment. Almost 10 minutes. Alright, I'm going to shut it down now. I think you've, you've get the gist. Um, it's been probably 11 minutes now. So I'm going to shut it down. And there you have it guys. Um, I won't pull this um, apart today. But if you are interested in seeing what's inside of it. Um, yeah, let us know in the comments. If this gets enough comments and enough interest then I might take the cover off this but there are videos of this battery with the cover off um, they have done a lot of changes since then and they have fixed a um, some, lot of um, build quality issues so which is good um, yeah overall it's passed the capacity test passed the, the load test um, the discharge cutoff works on this so overall it does what it um, it states, does what it says. So, in my opinion, yeah, it pa passes all the tests. If you are interested in picking one of these batteries up, um, yeah, you're welcome to use the code Tech Box Review 12V, and you can get this for 199 dollars US dollars. Um, yeah, you can buy it in Australia or US as well. Um, yeah, use my code. It's available for two months. So jump on it, guys. Um, yep, it's passed all its tests, so I couldn't ask anything else from this for a budget battery.